Hey guys, so I'm coming back to you guys with another video um, in the progress of installing a center console into my 2500 RAM Laramie. Um, I did a, a little paint job on these uh, trim pieces right here, as you guys can see. They were a different color. So what I did is I painted them and uh, I buffed them. You guys can see. Um, for this uh, particular uh, uh, up upgrade, you do have to buy the trim pieces. These are the trim pieces right here. There's two of them. This one goes on the left side and I already installed the, the right side right there. As you guys can see it's pretty flush there they these are original OEM parts straight from Mopar uh, you do have to go in there and uh, order them uh, they're about 15 bucks a piece and uh, if you want to pay overnight you can pay that it's about I paid about $65 and some change uh, the 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 part number for this, it is right here. You guys can see. And they do have to uh, match it to your VIN number to get the interior color because they don't know what color they come in. You just put their VIN number in there and uh, they give you the right pieces. I ordered these about three days ago. Um, I received them the next day after I ordered them um, and I just been waiting to install them because I've been messing around with the with the wiring and um, <clears throat> on my previous video it shows you how to exactly do the whole wiring process uh, and save yourself some money uh, everything works you know, I will be doing a video later on on how to get this working because this one is not working. It's uh, it's damaged. It doesn't have any uh, power. It has power, but it doesn't work. So I'll be doing another video on that. Right now I am in the process of, uh, I already got the center console centered in, uh, bolted on and everything. I do have to, however, install back the seats you guys can see right there I do need to install those seats back on you guys see these are the bolts that go into the back you guys have to get uh, either a compact gun or or as uh, do it like I did you know you just get yourself a wrench and uh, you know you take it to to get the job done um, everything is functional air vents uh, it doesn't come with the heated seats uh, but uh, maybe later on we can do a video on uh, installing some heated seats for the back um, and uh, this is the process right now it is a little dirty. As you guys can see. It's a brand new truck. I, I'm i doing uh, all the upgrades I want to get done to it. I will be doing a, a 12 inch uh, Uconnect on there later on in a future video. As you guys can see it is pretty brand new it, it has 592 miles on the clock um, but yeah this is the process of getting everything done for me it took about to where i'm at it's almost been a week doing this especially because i had to wait for the trim pieces to come in um, I did 
do however the paint on here uh, because the trim pieces that were on there they they painted them to a different color so i'm just returning them back to its original color and uh, i went ahead and i uh, did a mirror finish on there that way it looks nice um Everything is good. As you guys can see, you can't move it. But yeah, this is how it's done. How to uh, upgrade your center console for a 2020 Ram 2500. Uh, same process for uh, 1500 Ram. Um, it's it's the same uh, the same wiring uh you, you just do it the same way and uh it'll get working <clears throat> it's it's uh it's pretty simple you know without without buying any any uh any wiring or or extending your own wiring you can do that if you like but i don't recommend uh splicing your your cables and and do an extension it's not really it's better just the way it is you just plug and play and um, you're set but yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, comment share subscribe and um, I'll get back to you guys later on with another video thank you